Um, so welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us for the 12th edition of Albumworks Presents, part of our ongoing live webinar series. Um, my name is Naomi and I'm a member of our customer service team here in Melbourne. Um, we've been receiving some lovely feedback from our customers about the webinar series, so hopefully you're all getting some great pointers and making beautiful photo books. Today, um, we've got some general information about the features of our photo books, as well as some upgrade options and add-ons that you may not be aware of. So as I've said before, we want to make um, this an interactive session. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them along the way and I'll make time at the end to answer your questions. To ask a question, you, sh you should see the webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen. If you're on a computer, you can type your questions into this dialog box and send it. If you're running, uh, sorry, if you're tuning in on a phone or tablet, you should see a question mark at the top right of your screen, which you can press to type a question. Today's webinar should run for about 20 minutes and today's topics include the anatomy of a photo book, photo book sizes and cover types and photo book accessories. All right, let's get started. So firstly, I wanna talk about the anatomy of a photo book. Um, it's made up of five parts basically and the first is the spine. So you can see now the spine on this book on the slide is highlighted in orange. Um, like any book, the spine area is where your pages are bound. The size of your book's spine will depend on how many pages you have. So the more pages in your book means the, the wider the spine. In the editor, you can add your own text to the spine if you've chosen a photo cover for your cover type. And you may notice um, sometimes if you're, say you've added about 20 pages or, or more, as you add pages, you'll get a warning message telling you that um, the spine size has changed. That's because you've added pages. So it's just the editors telling you to check your cover to make sure everything's still centered because it would have moved, the content would have moved a little bit. The next, um, part of the book is the cover, as you can see now in orange. Every photo book has a front and back cover. We produce three different type cover, cover types, which we will talk about um, a bit later in this webinar. The most popular is a photo cover, which allows you to have images and text on the cover, and the design, de design is up to you. Uh, the next part is the wrap. So you can see now that orange bit highlighted just around the edge of the book. Uh, it's the area of your cover design that gets stretched and wrapped around the edges of your cover. The wrap, this wrap, it gets glued down on the inside page, sorry, in the inside of the cover. Um, it, it's a classic book binding technique for all hardcover books. In the editor, you'll see the wrap area defined as the folding area. So anything that is placed in the folding area will be wrapped around the cover. And I'll demonstrate that for you a bit later on. It's also very important to make sure that images extend fully to the edge of the folding area, otherwise you may end up with unwanted white lines on your cover. Um, yeah, I will demonstrate that. The next part of the book is the text, as you can see in orange. So the text is simply the inside pages of your book, which we call the text block. And the last bit is the end papers. Um, you will find end papers in all our classic photo books. As the name suggests, end papers appear at each end of your book. It is a single white page that connects the cover of the book to the inside pages or the text block. It also serves as a protective page um, before and after your content. Um, please note that lay flat books do not include end papers. So page one of your design will actually be on the inside of your front cover. This is because lay flat pages are designed and printed as double page spreads, not single pages. So they don't need end papers. Okay, so now let's take a look um, at the photo book sizes and the cover types that are available. We offer two small size albums. Uh, which are six, sorry, eight by six inch landscape and eight by eight inch square. Small sizes are ideal for small projects. So perhaps you have only a few photos, uh, a small number of photos from a particular occasion that you want to keep a memory of, or perhaps you're making a book for a child and it's easier for them to hold. Um, these sizes are the perfect choice for that. 
Then we move on to our medium sizes. So we have an eight by 11 inch book, which is in a portrait format and our 11 by 8.5 landscape. Um, easily our best seller, the 8.5 inch landscape is not too big and not too small. Uh, the landscape orientation is suitable as most photos are taken in landscape orientation. It's also an ideal starting point for price, starting at just $49.95 for a soft cover. Um, our large photo books um, include the 12 by 12 inch square and 16 by 12 inch landscape. The 12 by 12 inch is our second bestseller. It's an impressive size and has an affordable price starting at $66.95. Personally, it's my favourite size and it's what I use for all of my own photo books. I like the square shape as it suits a mixture of both landscape and portrait photos. Uh, also being a bit larger than 11 by 8.5, it feels more special, um, but it's not too big. So, sorry, it's not too big that it becomes cumbersome to look through. 16 by 12 inch is preferred for travel photo books as it allows you to display all of your wonderful holiday photos on a large scale and highlight high quality landscape shots. It's also useful if you're making a portfolio, for example, um, of maybe of your work if you're a designer or photographer. So both of these large sizes make amazing coffee table books. Next, let's take a look at the photo book cover types that are available. Uh, you need to select your cover type right at the start of making your photo book at the same time as you choose your size and I'll show you that a bit later on. So the first type is the photo cover um, which is the most common cover choice and is a hard cover option. There's 100% design freedom for this cover type so you, you can choose whatever photos and text you want to display. You can add backgrounds, frames etc the same way as you do on the inside pages of your album. There's no limit on how many photos you put on your cover. Design wise though, we generally see people choosing one or two images. The photo cover is matte, sorry, it's made with a hard backing board. Um, so it's much like a hardcover novel from a bookstore. Your design is then printed as a single sheet and is bonded to the hard board and that becomes your cover. When you're placing your order in the shopping cart, you will have the choice between a matte laminate or a gloss laminate. The matte laminate is the default option in the cart and it provides a non-reflective surface, so it's smooth to touch. The gloss laminate option gives you your cover a shiny look and it makes the surface of the cover reflective to light. The shiny effect also gives the colours a, a little punch. If you want gloss, you must remember to change the option in the shopping cart, which I will show you. Um, there's no additional cost when selecting matte or gloss. Uh, it simply comes down to your personal preference and which you, which you like the best. The next cover type is soft cover, which is similar to the photo cover option as it also allows you to design anything you want on your cover using your own photos and text. However, instead of a hard backing board for the cover, it's printed on a thick flexible cardboard. So the weight is 300 GSM, which is like a typical business card or a postcard thickness. We often describe a soft cover as similar to a high-end fashion magazine you might find at a news agent. Um, so it's still perfect, it has perfect binding, um, so it shouldn't come apart. Um, they're, they're very strong products. The soft covers finish with a gloss laminate. It's not available in matte, it's a, it's a high gloss. The last cover type is premium material covers. So if you want a classic and elegant finish, this is the perfect selection for you. We use beautiful fabrics for the cover of your photo books and you can add a custom title to the cover. Um, I'll speak about titles in a minute. So, um, with, we use a high quality faux leather, that's one option. It's not a real leather, but it has the same look and feel. Or you can choose a buckram fabric, which is a, so, sorry, which is a stiff cotton with a visible weave texture. Uh, currently there are 17 different colours available in stock, ranging from classic black and greys to a metallic steel or pearl colour. 
In this slide um, on the left hand side you can see that's a black buckram cover with gold hot stamping and the book on the right is a red faux leather cover with, with silver hot stamping. So let's take a look at the accessories. So I was just talking now about hot stamping. If you have selected a premium material cover for your book you will be able to add hot text stamping to your cover for an additional $14.95. You can have a maximum of two lines for your message with 25 characters per line maximum. We have a choice of two fonts and they are Helvetica and Opti Optima as you can see on the slide. Your message is hand pressed into the surface of your material cover and then finished with a choice of three finishes. You've got gold foil, silver foil or no foil. Um, so the no fall results in just the imprint of your message, which is called, we call it blind stamping. That's the one on the right hand side of the slide. Other accessories include a presentation box, which is a perfect storing place for your photo book and it makes a great add on if you're um, giving it as a gift. Presentation boxes are individually handmade and tailored to perfectly fit your book. Just like the premium material covers, you can select from the 17 materials available. You can also add a custom title to the front of the box. If you choose um, a material cover together with a presentation box and you choose to put a title on, on them, this, the same title will appear on the cover and on the box. Um, the bo presentation box also comes with a handy ribbon to pull your book out of its holding place. As an alternative to a presentation box, you can choose a slip case. As the name suggests, your photo book can slip inside the convenient case, which is again handcrafted so that your book fits smugly inside, snugly inside. <laughs> Once again, um, you can choose any of the material cover options available and also add hot stamping. And again, the hot stamping will appear on your cover and on your slip case if you've chosen a material cover. A slipcase is an affordable add-on option. They start at $24.95 while presentation boxes start at $40. Okay, now that we've learned about these accessories, let's take a look in the shopping cart, uh, sorry, in the um, editor and the shopping cart to show you how all these things work. Um, so I'm going to use our download editor to show you these options. Um, I'll start a new project and um, the first thing I'm going to show you is choosing your cover type. So I'm just going to choose a classic photo book. The theme doesn't matter for this purpose. Um, and on this next screen, which is going to come up, this is where you choose your size and your cover type. So it's very important to get your cover type right here. So 11 by 8.5 landscape photo cover is your first option and 11 by 8.5 land, um, landscape premium material cover. So each size, you'll have a photo cover option and a premium material option. It's really important to get the right one, but I will show you how to change it later in case you get it wrong. Let's choose a 12 by 12 photo cover for now. Um, I will just call it, uh, let's call it webinar and create. So in a minute, it's gonna open up my book and the first page on the book will be the cover because I've chosen a photo cover. If I'd chosen a material cover, there'd be no cover showing in the book. Um, when it opens in a minute, I will show you uh, the, fold the fold area or what we called the wrap. So as I showed you earlier in the slide. So here's your cover. We won't upgrade it now. So here at the top you see folding area, place text and details at least one centimetre inside the red line and extend full page images all the way to the blue line. So the area between the red and blue line is the wrap area. If you're putting a photo on the page, which I'll just demonstrate, um, say you want your photo to cover the whole page, um, you need to take it so that it goes into the wrap area um, and that way you won't end up with any white stripes along the edges. So I have lost a bit of my photo because of the shape of it, but it goes all the way to the edge of the page. Um, that's very important. Also important to make sure any uh, faces or any important parts of the photo are kept inside this red 
line, so at least a centimetre inside that red line. So that, that explains the wrap. Um, I'm going to order this book just so that I can show you, uh, actually before I order it, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to change it to a material cover. So there's a button here called change product on this toolbar, click on that. And I've decided instead of a photo cover, I actually want a premium material cover. So I have a look here and here's the 12 by 12 square premium material cover. Click on the picture of the book and then click change. And the program's going to change it for me automatically. Once it changes, um, as I mentioned just now, the cover will disappear because, because it's a material cover, there's nothing for me to design. So that page completely goes. So that's your first tip. If, you've, if you're not sure whether you've ordered a photo cover or not, um, if you don't see the cover in your project, then you haven't ordered a photo cover. It goes straight to page one as it is here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a few things in the shopping cart. So we'll click add to cart. We won't upgrade for now. Uh, we won't worry about these. Don't worry about all this bit. Um, let's get to the cart. So we're adding that to the cart. I have also put in my cart just to demonstrate, I've put in, so I have a two books. I've got a photo cover book here and a material cover book here, just so I can show you the different options. So we'll click check out now. It's gonna take me to the terms and conditions and it's ready. I'll tick the box and click start. And that's gonna take me to log into my account, which I already have set up. So once I sign in, the first screen is my cart summary screen. It says here, cart summary. And this is where I find all these options that I need if I wanna change anything. So I can see my first item is my photo cover. It tells me here, you can see it's a photo cover. And below that, it tells me my book type. At the moment, it's standard definition and um, extra pages are there too. The cover type, here again, it says photo cover and the cover finish shows matte laminate. That's the default. If I want a gloss laminate, I need to click that change button and I tick this gloss laminate box and click change. Make sure that once you've done that, that your cover finish now says gloss laminate. Simple as that. If I want any accessories, so say I want a presentation box for this book, I click on change to add an accessory and I'm gonna choose a presentation box. Click change. And that adds an accessory, it adds a presentation box. I now need to choose the cover of that box. So I click on this change button here and I can choose from a range of different colors whatever I want. I'm gonna choose the European buck, Buckram Blue, which is a lovely color and very classic, very traditional. Click change. And again, make sure that it has actually changed here. I can add hot stamping, but I will show you that on, the, on my other book that I'm, I've got here. So let's move down to item number two, which is a 12 by 12 square premium material cover, as it says. Again, it shows me my book type, it shows me my cover type. So I've got European Buckram Black at the moment. If I wanna change that, I need to do that at this point. Uh, let's change it to European Buckram Steel. Change. For this one, I am gonna have accessories. I'm gonna have a slip case. So down here, I choose slip case and change. And very important again, is to change the color of your slip case. So it's got the cover, um, the cover type for your slip case. You need to also change that to metallic buckram steel if, that, if you want the cover and the case to be the same color. So I'll change that and I've got both. For this book, I'm also gonna add hot stamping. So I click on change next to hot stamping. And here are the different types that I have. I can have Helvetica blind gold or silver or Optima blind gold or silver. I'm gonna choose Helvetica silver and then click change. 
And now I have two lines that I can type into. So I can have up to 25 characters per line. I might put our wedding 3 June 2020. And that will appear on two lines and each line will be centered. Um, there are a specific range of characters that we can use because they are physical blocks that go into a machine. Uh, you can, uh, this link here, it's you actually can't click on that link, but you can highlight it and put it into a web page to see the available list of color, uh, sorry, available list of fonts. I'll just pop it in here and it takes you to the, um, what, what's available for each of uh, the fonts of it there. Okay, that's all we have time for for today. So if you have any questions, um, if you can send them through now, that'd be great. I'll do a quick, um, uh, just a recap of what we've talked about. Uh, so basically we've talked about photo book features and accessories. Um, there are six book sizes available. There are three choices in your cover types. Um, just remember to pay attention to the instructions inside the editor when you're designing your cover. Uh, all photo, book, photo covers are matte by default, so remember to change to gloss in the shopping cart if you want gloss. And photo book accessories um, are a good option for gifts or for presentation purposes or storage. So that's pretty much uh, what we've covered. I'm now going to have a quick look to see if we have any questions, so if you can bear with me for one moment. So it doesn't look like we have any questions today. Hopefully that means that I've explained everything really well. Um, and um, I'll just go through, as I usually do, my speech at the end, just so that you know that you can contact us anytime if you need to. Um, yep, yeah, so you can either contact our customer service team um, by phone. We're here Monday to Friday, 9am to 5.30pm. And our phone number is 1300 553 448. You can also reach us by email, which is service at albumworks.com.au or you can talk.